I'm going live on my personal page, which I don't do a lot. I am doing the crop circle again. I'll wait till some people find me. <laughs> oh my god, okay. We're gonna do a second tour of the crop circle. <laughs> I need some videos on this page anyway. My page videos were looking bad. Hi! People will find me, don't worry. We're doing crop circle upgrades. It's crazy. Kathleen, hi. Can you throw this in the empath group? <laughs> they need to activate it too. They need activated for sure too. I'm trying to activate the planet. Listen, my head's buzzing. We've been in here like I don't know how long. <laughs> We've been in the crop circle for like half an hour hanging out. And my head is buzzing. We got the crystals. We're charging our rocks. <laughs> we got the Endara and Lumerian Quartz. I just thought I'd send you guys some more crazy energy because it's too nuts for me to even process yet. <laughs> it's too nuts for me to even process. My head's spinning. It makes you so lightheaded. I can just describe it like you're getting high on the energy. It makes you really lightheaded. Like real crazy. I, I don't know. I've seen people where they did, did videos in these and they look like they were like blissed out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have a pretty amazing month this month. I'm going to Stonehenge next for the solstice. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to do one more crop circle this summer. So I'm taking a tour of it. This one happened in a pretty, uh, like there's houses over there, which is crazy to me. <clears throat> Hi, Pete. We're just getting some crop circle energy in. You know, we're already getting light body activated with these cosmic energies, so I figured I'd come walk around over here and send out some good vibes. <laughs> we're taking a tour and seeing what it does to the area. It makes you feel radioactive. Um, like, it, it does weird things to your energy, like kind of heats you up. It makes you feel real hot and like radioactive, I guess. I don't have a better word for it. Hello. We're doing crop circle field trip today. I love it. This one might be cells merging. <laughs> it's for sure. I heard this one's Pleiadian for sure, which makes sense. Yes, Kathleen. We're going to activate these people with these videos, as you know. Okay, good. My boyfriend is having a better time in this one than the last one. You know, we're going through some intense upgrades over here. So, you know, you should be able to handle this stuff better and better. That's how I've been at the rocks before at Stonehenge. Oh, it's crazy. I'm already lost in this thing, Kathleen. It's like a maze. <laughs> I'm lost in it. We're exploring this. I'm usually like the second person here lately. <laughs> I know the Stonehenge droid people came and did a video, but pretty untouched. Hi! Shame. I'm just sending out some good vibes. We're doing light body upgrades. <laughs> I love it. I love this thing. I could hang out here like all day. Hi Gord! We need a video still. We're gonna do a video on plant medicine. I can't wait. Hi! I'm sending you guys crazy alien vibes. It's nuts. <laughs> it's just too nuts for me to process. Oh my god, it's crazy. I wonder if these people, they have like a tree fort over there. I wonder if they noticed the aliens landing because, yeah, it's nuts. This thing's huge. And then they're like, oh, this might be a ship imprint. It's pretty big to be a spaceship imprint. I'm just saying. <laughs> pretty big craft. So, but I love the alien vibes. It's like, it's like being in the middle of a level space storm or Stonehenge, you know, during the crazy energies. And I love these frequencies. I could just chill in here all day. They make me feel amazing like the storms. <laughs> While everyone's dying of ascension flu, I'm usually like, oh, I love it. And it feels so good, right? Yeah, alien vibes for sure. Definitely confirmed aliens. <laughs> We're charging our crystals in it too. Last time we spent the night in Glastonbury, it was a little too much with the crop circle and uh, sacred sites in one day. <laughs> We're just doing crop circles today. <laughs> It was a little too much. No, it's awesome. It looks kind of like a maze. You know, you for sure will get lost in this thing. It's real crazy. I love it. It makes my energy feel crazy. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> it makes your energy feel level crazy too. I was like sitting in here and it really makes your energy really feel crazy. I love it. All right. I added a bunch of new people to my page too. Perfect timing, right? I've been first thing in the morning at like 6 a.m. my time. Alien crop circles. The aliens have landed in the UK again. And they are picking up an intensity because they're trying to wake us up and push us towards our spiritual evolution, I'm pretty sure. So it is crop circle season in the United Kingdom. We already had a crop circle in Paris, which is out of the out of the normal in France or whatever, probably because the city has been burning down and the aliens are trying to reach us. No one was around, so they left a voicemail. <laughs> I think this is a message for us to detox. <laughs> detox further. You guys are going to need to detox. Yeah, it's nuts out here. It's like the middle of nowhere. So you should see the fields that we had to go through to get over here. <laughs> I love it. We were looking for the lone tree over here to find it. Oh, I'm wearing camel. This is like a whole government mission over here. The men in black, last time when I saw the crowd circle, they had the men in black helicopters over it. <laughs> I said in America, they would have this sectioned off and the men in black and the government will be with scientists investigating it. But this is the UK. But I saw the black helicopters over it last time. Yeah, we're on a whole mission over here, incognito. I said these people are probably so mad that their yard got tagged up by the aliens. And then I'm here. Oh, raw, the alien came back. The aliens are back. I am here <laughs> hanging out in your yard. <laughs> no, I love it. What's the message? Oh, this one is the activation for the earth. If we were to send Reiki to someone, it would look like this on an internal level, like literally coding, coding, codes and imprints. So this is some type of energetic imprint. I think of them as activations from the aliens for the earth, nothing to do with us. Gaia is making her own ascension and this is a activation for Gaia's light body. It contains light codes and you know energy similar to the ones that I'm sending, like the galactic activations so it's a light body upgrade for Gaia so when I come stand in this energy um, it activates me and then you know I'll hold those codes in my energy field so I don't know I'm real into getting led to these weird areas like I was on Shasta now I'm in the UK getting it just getting activated for my own ascension so that I can activate other people or whatever but I keep getting led back to these weird alien places <laughs> As a starseed and as a galactic channel, I'm always getting led to this weird kind of alien stuff too. And I think that kind of scares the people around me where, you know, people are into the cards and like, as soon as I'm like, aliens have landed, oh my God, people start kind of freaking out. This one's more Pleiadian, the ones that landed on the island before, like the star shaped one that they just had looks more Syrian. So it's like a light language. I'm doing light body upgrades today and like the next week anyway on my site, Crop Circle ones too. You guys can find my site. I'll put the link anyway below if anyone's interested in up getting upgraded. And I'm getting off of here. Loving light, sending you alien vibes.